Hey there, how are you? I am Wanza Leftwich, and welcome to another tutorial by Wanza. So listen, I have been getting a lot of questions about how do you format or how do you create a table of contents for an ebook? So I'm going to show you the quick way that I've learned how to do it and hopefully it will help you. Now, don't be nervous, don't be uh, scared or anything like that. You're free to watch this video um, more than once so that you can uh, understand it and so that you can um, become familiar with how to do it. So if you're looking on the screen, you will see that um, I just have a short bio here. This is my short bio. This is just for this. It's actually an old bio, but I'm gonna use this as an example. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna actually copy this a few times so it can um, look like, you know, chapters in a book, right? <laughs> so it can look like I'm actually writing. So if this was your manuscript, you would go to the top. I'm gonna go back up. Just give me one second. I need to see a part of my screen that's a little cut off. Let me adjust it just a second here. Uh, hopefully. Okay, so, okay, so here we go. I can see it now. Okay, great. So I'm gonna go back to the top of the screen. And so basically after, you know, you have your cover page and you have your copyright page, dedication, acknowledgements, all that good jazz. Actually, you can actually do this for your dedication, your acknowledgements and all that as well right um so this is what i want you to do this is how you create a table of contents so i'm going to actually start at the the chapters and so well let me do this let me just do dedication and acknowledgements just in case you have that in your book right and um don't mind me y'all i always spell acknowledgements wrong but thank god we have spell check so we have dedication, acknowledgments, and possibly you may have a forward, um, usually not with ebooks, but hey, you can do this for an ebook, hint, 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 as well as a paperback book. So let me show you what to do. So this is what we want to do. We want to create a table of contents that automatically updates whenever you make a an adjustment or a change right and so this is what i'm going to show you how to do so you just go right here i want you to highlight the word or the chapter uh the title or you know we'll get into that so y'all bear with me okay sometimes i have to slow myself down i talk a little bit too quickly and i get very very excited because i love helping people create right so let's highlight dedication and then i want you to come up here so if i haven't told you already we are in word we are in microsoft word and we are on the home tab and i want you to come right over here to heading one press heading one and as you can see let me do it again as you can see it changes colors right it got a little bigger it changed color now don't be afraid the computer is your friend. If you do something that you thought was an error, just control Z or, or you know, go back, it's fine. So let's, uh, let's highlight acknowledgments and we wanna press heading one as well. Then your forward, whatever, whatever is in your book that you want to be labeled in the table of contents, this is what I want you to do. So then we're gonna do heading one for that as well. Okay, so now we are at the actual content of the book, right? And so before I do that, I wanna make sure that all of these things are, are on separate pages. So I'm gonna go in front of acknowledgements and go over here to insert. And we wanna put a hard page break. And then we wanna do that again. put it in front of forward, put another hard page break. And what this does, it, it stops you from uh, taking your, your cursor and putting it here and then pressing return. 
We don't want to press return when it comes to formatting a book because it will throw your pages off, okay? So we want to do a hard return in front of where we want to begin. So right here, I want to put, we're going to actually start our chapter. So I'm going to put chapter one, and then I'm going to put the title, Wanza's Short Bio, right? So remember, this is just for this example. So let's highlight chapter one. Go back up here to home, press on the home tab, and let's find heading one, right? Great. Now for the title, I don't want to do heading one. I actually want to do heading two. So let's highlight it again. Let's highlight the title rather. Go up to the top, press heading two, and you'll see why a little later on. Okay, so now you have chapter one, but we need a page in between here. So let's put the cursor in front of chapter one. Come back over to, not home, I'm sorry. Come back over to, sometimes I get this, oh, insert. Sometimes I get a little mixed up, but all you gotta do is press it, you'll find it. Page break. All right, great. So now our, our chapter is on its own page. And so now I wanna scroll down. I'm like, okay, that's great. That's chapter one. Chapter one continues. This is you going through your manuscript, right? And so you're like, oh, here I am, chapter. Sorry, guys. This would do this while I'm doing an example. <laughs> Real life stuff, right? But the, I just told you guys, don't worry. Just go back to where you were. All right, so your content starts right here for chapter two. Put chapter two. And the title, Wanza's what? Uh, Wanza's teaching career, whatever your title is, right? We wanna come here, highlight. We wanna go back to the home tab do heading one and so you want to remain consistent with heading one and heading two so if if all the chapters are in heading one and all the the titles are in heading two you want to remain consistent with that and you're going to see why okay so we're going to stop right there and i want to go back to the beginning of the document i want to go up to the beginning of the document because before this dedication page, I actually want to put a table of contents. Now, I don't want you to write the word table of contents. I just want you to, so what I want you to do, let's go back to insert. Let's put a page break. So dedication can have its own page. And then I want you to scroll back up to the blank page that's at the beginning. So here is the fun part where we actually create the table of contents automatically. All right, so let's go to home. And sometimes I don't remember where it is, so I just press it until I find it because I know it's there. It's, <laughs> it's under references. So, okay, let's click the reference tab. And if you go over here to the left, it says table of contents. Click that. And you have automatic table number one or automatic table number two. I'm gonna go with table number two. You can do one or two, it's your preference, but I'm gonna do two. Click on two and voila. You have an automatic table of contents on its own page, right? So you have the dedication is on page two, acknowledgements on page three, the forward, um, chapter one and chapter two. And so you may say, well, once I have, I have more than two chapters, I need to add more information. Actually, I spelled the word acknowledgements wrong. I don't want you to change anything here. All right, hear me clearly. Do not change anything in the actual table of contents. I want you to go back into the manuscript and find what you need to change, change it there, and then we'll update it. So we did two chapters. Let's do another chapter. Let's go right here and let's say we do chapter three. We're going to enter and then we do Wanza's luxurious vacation, right? And so, um, well, let's make this uh, its own page. Go back to insert page break. It will make it its own page. 
And then let's highlight chapter three, come back to the home page so we can find our headings and we wanna make it heading one, right? And then the title, we wanna highlight that and make it heading two. And so now we did that. So let's go back up. All right, so let's go back up to our table of contents. Let's scroll back up. And here we have our table of contents. So let's click on this. I didn't want to highlight it. I'm trying to find, there it is. Okay, I'm trying to get to the top of the table. Okay, so right here, you can see right here, it says update table. This is why I don't want you to change anything um, in the ebook on, on the table of contents itself, right? If you have anything that you need to change, if you updated a paragraph, if you updated a title, if you updated the dedication page, if you updated anything that you updated that, that maybe like the numbers change, that type of thing, do not change it manually on the table of contents. All you have to do is press update table and you wanna choose, right? If you wanna choose update entire table, click okay and voila. It has added your additional chapter. It will correct the spelling. If you correct it spelling, it will adjust the, the uh, on this side, it will, adjust page numbers if the page is shifted so you don't have to worry about anything that's why i really like doing the the automatic table of contents for the ebook and then so let's save this we want to save it as a pdf and so the beauty of linking all of this together is that when you have an ebook like if you're uploading it to amazon or if you're uploading it to um different places you can actually link you can actually press on the table of contents like chapter one chapter two or wherever you want to go to in the book and it will go directly to that page so let's save this as a pdf and um so i'm gonna put table of contents sample right I'm going to save it as a PDF. Of course, you can save it as a Word document first, but you probably already have that since you're working on your ebook. Save. And so it brings the book right up. And so if I click on chapter one, it goes right to that chapter. That is the beauty of doing an automatic um, table of contents. Let me click on chapter three it goes directly there so this is how you create an automatic table of contents for your ebook i thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial